So Christian asks, would you go back to school and become an officer? Yes, uh, recently I have seriously considered being an officer. You know, about two weeks ago, I asked myself a question. If I was to be extremely patient in terms of success and making money, what would I do? And one of the uh, one of the strategies, you know, I thought about was becoming an officer. Now, certainly, I do not want to be an officer in the army, in the Marines, right? I'm not a combat person, and I do not want the slightest chance of being boots on ground, you know, shooting people. Uh, that's just not me, right? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a paper pusher. I love paperwork, right? Uh, so if I was to become an officer, after my military career of five years, so 2020, June, after I get out, I would go back to school using my GI Bill, then come back and try to be an officer within the Air Force as their logistics officer. In the long term, right, I thought about this. My family have pretty good genetics. Right, my great grandmother lived till 98, and she only passed away because uh, she injured herself. She hit her head. Uh, my grandma right now is 80 years of age. I think she can live till 90. I don't think she can go any further than that because she has diabetes. Um, but without it, I think she could have lived till 100 easily. So I have pretty good genetics. I'm gonna live, you know, as long as I maintain my health and you know eat right and don't get injured or and and nothing happens to me. Right, I think I can live you know, let's say roughly around 90, right? So I would finish college by, I'm 24 right now. Uh, after I get out of the Navy, go to school, I will finish at the age of 30. And then I would, to close out my 20 year, uh, you know, military career, I had five years in the Navy. Then I will add 15 years as an officer. I, by the time I retire, I'll be 45, right? And the other day, I calculated, I went on a website and typed in, you know, they had like a little formula. I don't know how accurate it is, but after you retire, how much you will make on a monthly basis for your retirement pay as a, a retired Air Force officer. And uh, when I calculated it, I would get right about three to $4,000 or you know, sometimes five, I forget exactly which one, but I think $4,000 uh, rough estimate every single month. Right, at the age of 45 and I'm gonna live another 45 years guesstimating right assuming that I live till 90 you know you never know I could die at 46 but you know as much as the YOLO concept exists right you kind of have to you know plan long but live life you know accordingly so assuming I live another 45 years so in the course of 45 years I retire at 45 and then I'll die at 90. I will be making $2,160,000 from my retirement pay within the military. By that long game concept, retiring in the military, I thought about it's not a bad gig. So that's why I would consider being an officer. And I'm seriously considering being an officer. That's right.